Hey, welcome to day five of International Nature Journaling Week 2024. My name is Melinda Nakagawa. I'm a nature journal mentor here in California, United States, and I want to introduce you to the topic today of fruiting and dispersal. Um, so we invite you to explore nature with the idea of fruiting and dispersal in mind. How does nature um, produce fruit and how does it disperse the fruit and seeds? So explore looking carefully at the plants that are around you. Perhaps you might see um, fruits that have big fleshy parts that are, you know, that's food for the, per the animal um, that might disperse it like an apple or a plum. Um, or maybe it doesn't have a fruit, but it just has a protective layer so that the seeds get, dis get dispersed. Um, what does the fruit look like? The shape and the color? Is it big like a peach or is it small like a raspberry? Does it have um, one big seed like a plum or does it have many seeds like a strawberry does? Um, look around in your nearby nature, even when you go for walks. Here in California, I have my tulip plant that's um, finished um, blooming and it's got a seed pod. So I'm gonna explore this seed pod a little bit more. I have never looked at tulip seeds before, so that'll be fun. So maybe you'll see something that you've never seen before in your nearby nature. And um, we invite you to just go with a sense of wonder and be curious and explore and use your nature journal as a place to document what you are experiencing, what you're noticing, and what makes you curious. And we'd love for you to share your journal pages and your discoveries with us. Have fun. Hi everyone, I'm Kim from Perth, Western Australia. I really love to use my nature journal as a tool to explore the world around me and to learn more about our planet. I'm really excited about this year's theme of cycles of life and discovering all about them in the Australian context, especially because sometimes Australian nature can be really strange. For the fruiting and dispersal prompt today, I was reminded of a recent camping trip to Dryandra Woodland National Park, where I discovered about woilies and how they help sandalwood trees regenerate. Woilies are critically endangered and they're small hopping marsupials in the rat kangaroo family. They're active at night and they love to eat sandalwood fruit. They either eat or cache them for later, like squirrels, in what's called a scatter hoard, and so help the sandalwood seeds to disperse effectively. They also help disperse their favorite food, underground fungi, by transferring spores in their scats. I wonder what other interesting stories I'll discover when nature journaling today. Hi, my name is Yvonne and I am the founder of the Nature Journal Club Chemnitz East Germany. The community of nature journalers in Germany is still growing and I am so proud to be part of it. It's wonderful to sit here and tell that to you. If you are interested in a deeper connection with us, you can find us on the Discord server Nature Journaling Gemeinschaft or via Instagram at naturejournaling.deutschland. And now? Let's grab your nature journal kits and switch into my native language because I invite you today to take a deeper look at the change of the dandelion flower of me. Wenn wir uns im Frühling draußen bewegen, werden wir überall von Löwenzahn begleitet. Mit seiner leuchtend gelben Farbe ist er schwer zu übersehen und er ist eine reichhaltige Nahrungsquelle für viele Insektenarten. Nach einiger Zeit wird aus der strahlend gelben Blüte ein flauschiger Schirmchenball. Aber woher weiß die Pflanze, wann es soweit ist? Und wie wird aus einem so kleinen, zarten Schirmchen eine so resistente und starke Pflanze? In meinem Nature Journal halte ich solche Prozesse sehr gern fest. Es macht mir Freude zu entdecken, was sich im Vergleich zur letzten Begegnung alles verändert hat. Ich stelle mir Fragen und überlege mir, was die kleinen Schirmchen wohl alles erleben. Und heute lade ich dich ein. Wenn du Lust hast, schreib Geschichten oder Gedichte über die Erlebnisse und Abenteuer der kleinen Schirmchen und teile sie mit anderen. Veränderung gemeinsam zu erleben, das schafft Verbindung. Und Verbindung ist das, was das Nature Journaling für mich ausmacht. 
Send your dandelion stories and poems to me on Instagram at waldwiesenfuchs. I'm looking forward to read it and wish you a nice time. Bye! Hello, my name is Gretel and I'm calling into this year's International Nature Journaling Week from Wurundjeri Country, <laughs> um, which creates the part of the Kulin Nations um, surrounding the city of Melbourne in Victoria, Australia. Um, I'm super excited for this week. It's my first International Nature Journaling Week. Um, yeah, and I was really drawn to today's theme of fruiting and dispersal because in Australia we have some really unique plants that um, yeah, have really unique fruiting and dispersal systems. The eucalypt which you can see behind me, they flower over a really long period of time so this is some fruiting bodies that is preparing to flower and the following year they stay closed and quite small i'm not sure if you can see that there um, and then after two or three years they they open up um, even then this seed often requires some kind of treatment like smoking or fire to to actually sprout so <laughs> little chicky sitting here <laughs> hello um and we also have lots of other unique plants like the mistletoe we've got about 97 species here in australia and they rely on birds to eat the fruit and spread their seeds by like getting all the sticky um, gum out of out of their mouths um, there's also lots of plants that rely on ants to disperse their seeds and it's a really beautiful process um, and yeah i'm really excited i think Nature journaling is a really special way to be more observant of the places and the living things around you and it's really helped me connect to the living systems that make up the place where I live so I'm really excited to be doing that alongside everyone else in this week. Um, yeah. Hi, I'm Jen Boyd and I teach high school environmental science in Southern California and I've been nature journaling for about two years now. And one thing I noticed about cycles is that they're easily noticed when you go back to journal the same thing in a later time. So for my sample, I've got this one I did in October, early October, and it was on morning glories. These are just growing in my yard. But the one thing I had a question about were these things that were hanging like right there. Like, what are those? So then later in October, I came back to the same morning glories and I saw what they were. They were little seed pods and I recognized them because I noticed the hair on the outside. And the seeds actually popped out and I'm planting them this year. So that's one example of a cycle that I noticed.私たちは日本の高知県の真ん中辺にいます。今どこにいますか？今畑にいます。枝豆の種を巻いて水をあげようと思っているところです。えっと種種植えて。かぶせて。やるけど。ここにいっぱい今ありんこがいる。その種も周りにね、はいありますって触ってみる？触ってみる。まだ飛ばないと思う。あ飛んだ？あ飛んだ飛んだ。ちょうどいい。パチン。はい。飛んだね。なんかさ